Welcome to Techno with me. We'll learn Langsmith today. Why to learn Langsmith? I have one LLM application. Now need a one-stop solution for LLM application to monitor, deploy, and test it. Langsmith is the solution. It is the LLM ops to perform all those tasks. What we will cover today. Overview of Langsmith. Integration with LLM application. Trace your LLM calls through Python code. Create dataset using Python code and evaluate LLM application through Python code. So let's get started. If you like, please subscribe the channel. Okay, this is the extremely strategy Python code that was already developed. And if you have missed this particular video, you can see my last video. So this Python code to build one interactive chat dot and a user can upload one document and then through this Python code, what we did, we split the document and then we created a DB face path and then we call chat open AI to LM studio and we call conversational retriever chain. And in this particular chain, we ask the queries. So this particular entire program, we could not able to monitor or trace it. So let's try to integrate with Langsmith. So what is the benefit of Langsmith? We will also understand over there. So let's integrate with Langsmith. Import OS is required. We need couple of more libraries. ENV to load the env folder file. In the env file, we'll keep Langsmith API key. And I will show you how to create the Langsmith API key. So let's import Langsmith libraries. And here we required the wrap OpenAI. And then Langsmith dot, okay, Langsmith import traceable from Langsmith import client. Remember C is capital. And from path leave import path. Let's load the env file. So the env file is already placed in my uh, uh, workspace. And there I have already kept my API key and also the endpoint of Langsmith and the tracing version 2 is mentioned as true. So in this particular uh, code, you can see. Let's create client object. So initialize the client object from Langsmith. <laughs> so that's it for this particular. So to integrate the, with this code with Langsmith. So you can understand like, it's very easy. It's just a one line of code and you need the LM Studio to run this particular code. It, to run this particular code without any API key. That means like you don't need any API subscription. Like, like LM Studio is a platform to host lots of LLM models. I have Mistral LLM model. Uh, you can see this is uh, this particular uh, Mistral I'm loading it so that I can run the server. So LM Studio video I have already created. You can see that particular video. I will put that link in the description. That's very useful tool. If you don't want to subscribe in any API or LLM uh, models. So yeah, so this is the UI. As I said, like that particular Streamlit RAG UI code, if you run it, you can launch to this particular UI through browser. And what we are going to do, we are going to upload one file. So this file is about computer architecture. So we'll upload this file and then 
will ask one question to the document will chat with document nothing but the rg that is the rg right if you want to see the concept of rg you can look into that particular video i will put it in the description so let's ask the question what is primary memory so my what i am expecting here this particular question will definitely go to lm studio actually this will go to the conversational sugar chain which will make llm calls and all these llm calls will go to the langsmith so let's log into langsmith first so this is the url you can sign up i say for google so i just use my google credentials and log into langsmith so let's see the overview of langsmith so i i thought i want to give you the overview at the very beginning but i feel like after integrating with one python code it will be very easy to understand where the calls are going and how to see this particular thing okay right and then you can create a project and then data set and experiment you can create your own data set and you can create your own experiment i will cover that particular side and then we can create annotation queues annotation queues in nothing but the feedbacks so mostly langsmith has this kind of uh uh features and also you can deploy the langsmith you can deploy uh, your llm application through langsmith using langserve but langserve is yet to be available for everyone so you need to be in the waitlist so to go into the waitlist you can need to sign up here so you can provide that information in this particular page i'm not going to provide or i'm not going to sign off right now but if you really want to be interested you can definitely uh, try this out and this is the data set and testing side so we'll definitely cover this one and there is prompt library you can create your own prompt library not in this particular chapter but i will cover this one in the subsequent chapter for you so i will try to cover the important parameters so okay let's change the uh, uh the settings and the like play with around okay anything here yeah this is very important to create the api key as i said right in your python code you need to put that api key so there was the create api key over there these are the different models over there so these are all the models yeah so you can go ahead and look into different uh, navigations anything i'm missing i think plans and billing let's see plans and billings so developer is free you can uh, single user license so if you want to learn and just do it your own startup kind of stuff then you can definitely go ahead and sign up for free plus is 39 custom enterprise level is there and this is the hub hub also all the prompts that is available and uh, they want to give you langsmith has given you lots of prompts Uh, for reference you can go ahead this is the setup how to set up the langsmith so you can go ahead over there or you can see my video uh, how to set up this one as i said the api key is required any python code so this python code is also there and this is the rap uh, open ai uh, thing okay my okay it's generated answer let's see how the trace is showing here so you can see 17 traces over here so far 15 or earlier so this two got generated uh, this time only so one got fail and this fail i am i know this is getting failed and it is throwing error in my python code but though through though the error is there like it is actually generating the answers but anyway the good thing i want to show you see if we can see the error from here also so it's not only the developer will just look into the error but anyone in the organization suppose any llm qa already there so they can definitely look into this particular trace and also if you look into the retriever there also all the information over here let's see the the result yeah see what is primary memory that llm call retriever call it's also showing over here and the output and let's go to the retriever how these are the see these are the very detail you can see the two documents the document number is also already present and from where this answers got generated so how llm generates that what is the primary memory that particular answer so these are the different paragraph or the different documents it extracted and from there 
it generates that particular answer. So here you can see this paper code and look into this paper code 302, right? So this paper code 302 is already present in the retriever sections. So in the retriever section time only, it generates those documents and then chat LLM use those uh, document and came up with this particular answer. It's really, really interesting stuff. But anyway, so come back to our Langsmith uh, UI. So you can look into the feedback. Feedback will cover later. Metadata, yeah, it's very important here also. So metadata is like what type of model you have used, what are the libraries you have used, and then SDK version, what not. Like it is giving all kind of detail information in here. So whatever you refer you want, you can go here, you can go to, you. there is a copy button also, you can copy it and paste it in your ticket or you can want to communicate somewhere, some other developer. It's also there. So all detailed metadata, it's also capturing from that LLM application through a single line of code only, right? So it's very cool and powerful. So definitely like uh, I am covering the re remaining part also like I'll cover the create data set. Okay, let's play and see what is there. This is the earlier call. So anyway, so you can see this error, any error is coming. That is also, it's showing over here. So yeah, the metadata over here in the previous stress call is also there. Let's see what else in this particular project. So threads, okay. I need to set up the threads, monitor. If we go, it will give a list of, okay, visualization of those stress count, how it is going on the date basis and then error, the points of the errors and the LLM call count. And really it's it's very, very detailed level information. I have ran this particular uh, for multiple times. So it got generated a different information and you can see the token count and the dollar values, the cost is also showing. I know like that this will show the dollar value for OpenAI uh, ab applications only or OpenAI LLM only. They have integrated. So if you are using OpenAI ChatGPT 3 or 4, then you can see the tokens and the cost over there. Here, see the latency is also showing for different dates, different calls. And here, uh, the token per second. It's, it will definitely required in case of any enterprise level. You can look into all the graphs and as per your graphs, you can choose and then you can put it in your report and so it. As I said, the, the setup is also over here. So let's go to any other section, annotation queue will cover. But let's see, try to add this, add this trace or runs in our annotation queue. Let's select uh, only this one. Okay, add to annotation queue. Okay, and then we'll put a, we'll create a new one. Put a name streamlit underscore RAG, which we can map. And then data set is also required. Okay, anyway. Let's try. We'll definitely create a data set from Python code. So once this overview, okay. So these are the data set type. Key value data set is the default type over here. And then chat data set is also there where you can have a like chat input, chat output type of data set you can provide. And then LLM data set is also there. So we'll, we'll cover this creating data set part. Let's try to create a data set part from the Python code.